where we going, honey bunny? Uh, honey we're going bunny. to Ashland, Massachusetts, going to my 50th high school class reunion. You're an old fart. I sure am. I'm proud of it. Okay. Now, I made it this far. Made it this far. <laughs> so, 50th high school reunion for Jay tonight. And mine is at the end of October, so I'm not that far behind you. I'm actually older than you, but... Your reunion is just a little a month or two, well, a month and a half to mine, so. Yeah. I'm done. So, it, it will be interesting. I'll be the watcher. He'll probably have fun. Because I won't know a soul tonight, but hopefully you will. And you'll be able to connect up with people that you like yeah. or liked. Catch up and have well, fun. I, well, to be honest with you, there really isn't anybody that I saw so far on the list that I got along with everybody in class. There really wasn't anybody that I know that I didn't get along with, so. Oh, you're just a likable Joe. I guess. Yeah. It so, is what it is. Likable Joe. So I got my Apple Watch. New Apple Watch. Yeah, it's all paired up. And I got my new iPhone, which I'm filming this on. I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the big one. And Jay got a new iPhone, which we hadn't planned on it. I don't think. Maybe you had. I had not thought he was going to get one. I knew I was going to get one. <laughs> well, so we both have new phones. I have a new watch. He has the Apple Watch 7. I had an older one. So I'm going to give my Apple Watch 6 to my daughter-in-law. And uh, I've got my new watch. And we're going to Ashley in Massachusetts. So at least you're good for another year or two. Yeah. <laughs> Still gotta think about a laptop eventually. Yeah. Oh well. It is what it is. I'm gonna film this just so you can see the part of the trail. This is actually in Seabrook, New Hampshire. Seabrook, New Hampshire. We're up here. Right here. It, it kind of winds its way down. We did the ghost trail. I don't know, last year it was really nice. Anyways, we followed the marsh trail all the way to the end, went over the bridge, as you can see, in the Clipper City Rail Trail. About two tenths of a mile is actually in the state of New Hampshire. And as you can see here, it is a, a gravel trail. It is fairly narrow and it is downhill if you start out at Seabrook, New Hampshire. The Massachusetts line. Hello, Massachusetts. <laughs> Alrighty. And even though this is gravel, it is fairly well maintained and it opens up as you cross a little wooden bridge. It opens up to really flat, paved trailways. The old Eastern Marsh Trail, also known as the Salisbury Rail Trail. We rode this all the way down to the very end with this part of the trail, the southernmost end. It was really awesome because you wind your way down through the parking lot and you drive sort of along the road, but not in the road, and you wind your way under the bridge. This is the Gillis Bridge. And when you get down there, there's all sorts of artwork. And it's really cool to be under the bridge. You can hear the cars going above. And this connects the Clipper City Trail and the Harbor Walk and the Salisbury Rail Trail. Really awesome place to ride. Some creative work of art. After crossing the bridge into Newburyport, we followed the trail down and around, and they had all these really cool little footrests on the benches, and poor Jay, he was pooped. But oh my gosh, we just had a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Oh well, you know what? I, it is that time of year, and so I mean, I was like digging for my my fall clothes you know to have like a sweater because it's so cold and then you know finally i found them and i'm like oh, oh i really need some new sweaters 
I have a bunch of like long sleeve tops and stuff like that, but gosh, I've been wearing them for years. I, I don't buy a whole lot of new, um, new tops, but anyways, I did find my sweaters and then I went on to Macy's and I looked online to see if I could find some. Instead, I ordered a pair of ankle boots, which I really need a pair of ankle boots. So I ordered the hose, we'll see. And then on my way home from work yesterday, I stopped at Ulta. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got the Lash Princess Mascara again. And I think I talk about that in one of my videos, but I got that again. And I'm glad I did because I got the last one on the shelf. And um, I got, I had to get some eyebrow pencils. I go through eyebrow pencils. I use the, the e.l.f. brow power, whatever it is. I'll show you. I'll, I'll put, I'll show you my little, my little alcohol for what I bought. Um, so I bought two of those because I do go through them. And, um, and I looked around uh, for a piece of luggage. Uh, we're, we've got a couple of trips coming up and one will be a bigger trip. And so I said to Jay, I said, we really need a second bag, one for him to carry along with his golf clubs that have good wheels. So yeah, I looked around, I didn't buy anything, but I did buy a number of things in Elsa. And then I went into Famous Footwear. You guys have Famous Footwear where you are? I wanted to get the um, like ballerina flats, but I'm too cheap. I don't want to spend a ton of money. Like I don't want to spend like hundred and hundred bucks on them, right? So Skechers has some really good flats that I really like, but they they tend to not really have my size a lot. So I went into Famous fo Footwear, and the thing with Famous fo Footwear, you can go in the front. And you're never going to see them. But if you go in the back where their clearance is, and you go in the back corner, they usually have them there. Not that they're on clearance, but they're usually there. They have all their flats. So I, I, um, I actually found two pairs that I liked, but they didn't have my size. So the sales lady convinced me to let her order them. So she get them in a week. We'll see. But it's it's been a it's been like a, a crazy a crazy week. Uh, I know I started this vlog, Jay and I were going down to his um, 50th reunion, and now the next one is my 50th reunion, so that's in two weeks, actually. I'm like, oh my gosh, two weeks. This weekend is my grandson's birthday, so I'll probably film a little bits and pieces there, but I was like... I was super, super thrilled to when I went to Ulta and I and I had a. I walked around Ulta. I don't know whether it's just that I haven't done this in so long, you know, that I really haven't done a whole lot of um, shopping in the store in so long. I just walked around Ulta. I was going up and down the aisles. I was, I was like going crazy. I didn't buy a whole lot, and I bought. I mean, it was very inexpensive what I bought. The mascara, the eyebrow pencil. I got two of the um, Morphe eyeliners. I mean, I, I'm really hoping I like them. I usually wear Urban Decay and e.l.f. and um, sometimes at Essence, but my favorite is the Urban Decay. The problem with the Urban Decay is it's so soft that I go through them really quick and it's like, forget it, right? So I tried the Morphe. Um, I looked at the two line, bought two liners and um, they I, I did the little the little little sample thingy, you know, like the where you can put it on your hand there and I walked I rubbed it, I walked around the whole store, it never came off. So I said, Okay, this might work. So I picked up two of those and I really wanted their shadow. And I cannot find the shadow that I want. This the pencil crayon shadow. They have one color that is beautiful and I want it. So today I'm going to see if I can find it. I don't know. Hopefully. Wish me luck. So I'm going in the office. I've got to go to the store. Afterwards, I have to return something. So, yeah, I'm going to return something in famous footwear. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Anyways, yeah. I'll be back in a bit. And then I realized that I think I did most of this vlog with the top of my head cut off like <laughs> I'm still going to publish it. Rainy day. 
why not, right? So I ended up getting this because I could not find my cream brulee. So I'm gonna use this for my all over. And then I got two of the eyeliners from Morphe in a chocolate color and a power color, which is a black. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they work really good. I, I did the little samples on my hand. And they're obviously very close. Whoops. The bottom is the the power, the black, and the top is the chocolate. It's a dark chocolate, but they have they've not smudged. They've been on my hands for a while. They've not smudged. And then I ended up getting the brow um, make me brow. This is from Essence. It's sort of like that kind of brown mascara kind of sets it in place and I always go through these elf I don't know why I go through them so quick but I do I go through them really quick and so this is the instant I guess it's um instant brow lift brow pencil and I I usually like the neutral chocolate one and that's sometimes in mine anyways is the the shade that's hard to get so I got another one another mascara and my setting spray. <laughs> that was my huge Ulta haul. Huge, huge, huge. So we are on our way to little Augie's third birthday. Mama Lita in the back seat. Mama Lisa, yeah. <laughs> looking, looking sexy back there, Mom. Mm -hmm. really. You're not feeling that way though, but she is looking that way. JJ driving. And it is a beautiful fall day and Augie's gonna be three years old. Oh, you know what happened, Mom? Yeah. You know that necklace that I always wear with the diamonds, the the star necklace yeah, the pearl? that you bought me? Yeah. It broke. It's a pearl, right? A pearl, yeah. No, it's got the, all the little diamonds in it. Yeah. I need to get a new chain for it. Oh well, it broke. Anyways, we're on our way to Augie's birthday. Augie, 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 Augie. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Augie. <laughs> hi, Augie. Yeah, it got caught on a can on a thing I was carrying in the yeah. house, and it broke the chain. Oh, that's stupid. But yeah. Can, just have to. It, the the chain is very thin. It's the white gold. Yeah. So I just I think I just have to um, you know, get a, another thin chain. But I want to I want a echt one, a real chain. I don't I don't want to. I want a white gold or something because I always wear it and shower and all that. So, yeah. anyways. Too bad. Too bad. After a while, they break, I guess, those chains. Yeah, well, I got it caught on something and it snapped. Oh. I was bummed because I wear that necklace every day. Yeah. Right, honey bun? You wear it nights too? Yes, I never take it off. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying no for? You know it's the truth. Then I know. Gooba. The one with the little star. Yes. Okay. With all the little oh, diamonds. You bought that for me, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago or something. I wear it all the time. It's a long time ago. I know. I'm yeah, so I bummed. I that you wear it a lot, which is good. But I love it. Yeah, but at night a little bit, you probably turn around and be rough and get cut on it, and then that's it. All these years, it never broke at night. It broke. I was carrying in a case of Coca-Cola and the little tab. I had two in my hand. And because Jay was doing something else, so I had to carry it all by myself. And the little tab got caught on the end of my necklace, and I went to put it down, and it pulled the whole thing. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. Your phone's right in my rear view mirror. What do you need to look in your rear view mirror for? Uh, people behind me. Oh, he has people behind him. All righty. I'm going to stop talking. So we had a great time at little Augie's birthday and it was really nice to bring mom out and about and she had a wonderful time as well. It was a great afternoon. The weather was perfect. And the next day, Jay and I went to Damascata, Maine. Now we normally go to Damascata and the Pumpkin Festival when we are camping up in Booth Bay Harbor, but this year we didn't do that. So we decided to just do an afternoon trip, a really quick trip, 
and I just couldn't resist it. I love looking at the pumpkins. I love walking around downtown Damascata. And I knew that they had this display, this Queen Elizabeth display with her crown and her corgis painted onto the pumpkin like that. I mean, how precious is that? It's just totally amazing. Damascata actually does this pumpkin festival, festival in Regatta every year they they didn't do it during COVID so it was really nice that they were back in full force they had over 70 pumpkin and displays all throughout the town and they usually have um, a big parade and then they have a regatta out on the harbor Damascata is a harbor town so you can smell the salt water and the views are just really really beautiful and this is just a huge event for the town so I'm so glad that Jay and I got to take a ride up there, spend an afternoon walking around and enjoying the harbor. And even though it was a little on the chilly side, it was just absolutely picture perfect, as you can tell by my photos. If you ever are in the area in October, they do this in October every year, and you have an opportunity to drive up to Damascata, Maine, do it. It is so well worth the trip. And you'll be amazed at the beautiful artwork. So I, I just found out, Jay told me, we'd been talking about going away for a weekend and we've been wanting to go down to Cape Cod. We've been wanting to go down to Cape Cod for quite a while actually. And um, I think last time we went down to Cape Cod was a couple of years ago on my birthday in the winter time. So I've really been wanting to do the Cape Cod Rail Trail and the Shining Sea Pathway um, down at Falmouth. So we've kind of been talking about Hemming Haran and Jay just sprung it on me, he booked it. So I'm, I've got a hustle, I've got, a, I've got so much to do at work and um, you know, we're just going away <laughs> for a weekend, but still, you know, we'd pack up, we're gonna put the bikes on the thing and so I don't, I'm not gonna get a video up this coming weekend, obviously because of that. And I don't know, I'm like, maybe I should just scrap all the footage I have because I have a his 50th anniversary, um, not anniversary, a high school reunion. And uh, we went to um, Augie's birthday. We went to the pumpkin fest. So I've got all this footage, but it's gonna be so late. I don't know what to do. I think about this, but I'm excited about going away. So bright and early on Saturday morning, we went down through Boston and drove down to Cape Cod. It was absolutely a wonderful weekend. The first day we rode our bikes on the Cape Cod Rail Trail, which was about 32 miles is what we did that particular day. On the second day, we did the sea, the shining sea bike path, which brings you all along the ocean and it is just absolutely a beautiful place to ride. Cape Cod at its finest. I said Cape Cod at its finest. I fast forwarded through some of my clips so that the video wouldn't be three hours long, but the Shining Sea bike trail brings you all the way down to Woods Hole, which is where the ferry is to Martha's Vineyard. And along the way, we stopped, we took pictures, we enjoyed the beautiful views, and just to be down in Cape Cod when you don't have a ton of car traffic was amazing. Yes, there were bikers, but the weather was perfect and the crowds were really nothing compared to how they are in season. Oh my gosh, did we have a great time. Woods Hole, where the ferry is. Uh, when, one of these days I said to Jay, we have to take the ferry over to Martha's Vineyard and just ride over there. That night when we were done, we had put in about 54 miles total. We did um, dinner at downtown Falmouth, walked all around the town. They had all decked up for Halloween, so it was really cool to see that. We had a blast, a total blast. And you can see our mileage on the second day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'm so sorry. I know this video is kind of, you know, all over the place and a little bit late, but I tried my best.